Welcome to my channel. Today's video is sponsored by Fanta Biz. I'm collabing with them. They sell all designer items and designer shoes, designer accessories on their site, y'all. And let me choose a bag. I did choose this red Gucci bag. I really don't have no Gucci bag, so I figured let me get this one. And not only that, y'all, red is my favorite color. So I will be unboxing the purse with y'all, showing y'all how it looks. Literally, y'all, this purse is fire and it is big. It is very spacious, so you can't fit a lot of things inside. Um, I love everything about it, literally. I love the color, y'all know. I literally love the color. I have no complaints about this bag. Inside, it is tan cream. It also comes with that Gucci card. It comes with two extra pockets inside as well. Um, you can use my discount code to get money off if you are interested in shopping with them, y'all. Let them know that I did send you because who don't want money off? Not only that, they do have other items on their site, as I mentioned before. They have more luxury items, y'all. I definitely love this purse. I cannot wait to support this. I don't know what outfit I'll be wearing with it, but I cannot wait to support it. Also, on the back, it does have a heart on it, y'all. This purse is so cute. Not only that, look at the stitching, the detailing. Like, it's all there is definitely good quality i give this purse a 10 out of 10 fancy biz definitely did they think with this purse y'all everything about this company will be in the description box literally everything as i mentioned before you can't use my discount code to get money off if you are interested in shopping with fancy biz let them know that i did send you also the links their whatsapp and their website will be in the description box y'all so don't forget about that definitely go shop and check out fancy biz Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my channel. If you are new, welcome. If you are old, uh, welcome. I am back with another video, and today's video is a vlog. Okay. I'm filming this vlog right now because I'm on my way to the hotel. I got a lot going on. I'm currently in a car driving, as y'all can see. I'm on my way to the hotel. I'm finna check in. I ended up getting me a hotel to do some content, do some videos, take some pictures, you know. Y'all know the usual. Y'all know the routine. So, yeah, I'm definitely loving my hair like this. I don't know how long it's gonna stay up like this, but. Yeah, it's cute. I've been trying to do like different looks and stuff lately, so. <clears throat> and y'all, I need to go get me an oil change tomorrow in the morning. Matter of fact, literally, like ASAP. I will say I was like, it's a hotel because it's like 30 minutes from me and I'm trying to smoke and stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna come back to y'all once I'm there. The hotel room first of all first of all first of all the first hotel that i have booked they end up telling me last minute that they did not take prepaid cards when they really should have said that over the phone um so i ended up having to find one that was closer cheaper a little bit mm, it ain't bad i'm not knocking it it's not bad but it's not the one that i wanted to go to and the pool is closed as well y'all so yeah kind of bummed out about that but your girl did go to the liquor store so Let me show y'all what I got. Mm. Y'all, I don't know if it's just me, but it's like when I get to the hotel and I post that I'm in a hotel or if I even post a picture, like a boomerang, whatever, everybody want to come. Where was y'all at when I was reserving it? Where was y'all at when I was paying for it? Where was y'all at when I was asking who wanted to get a hotel room? Not only that, what? What? So yeah, y'all, I end up getting this Jose Cuevo Gold. Y'all know the vibes. And the motherfucking vibes. I'm gonna try to take some pictures with some TikToks. Something. It's still early. I got here at like four o'clock on the dot, so. Okay, y'all. So wait, let me push y'all up a little higher. Y'all, this is exactly why I need me a tripod. Not only that, I don't like the way my makeup look. I don't feel like the girl at also was just trying to tell me like this my color. And I just feel like I look like white. Like, I don't know. It could be the hair. I could look lighter because of the hair. But I feel like 
I look lighter. I don't know. We're going to have to see once I get black hair. And if it is too much, I'm just going to go back to my regular makeup because... I'm drinking orange juice mixed with it, y'all. You know your girl had to go and get her some ice. A little bit of orange juice. Then you pour some liquor. A little bit more orange juice. And a little bit of more liquor. <laughs> Y'all, first of all, I'm tipsy as hell. And I really need to do my video. But my plan is to do it tonight. I'm about to really start to, I'm finna do it. Matter of fact, I'm finna do it now. I got somebody pulling up. Oh, they just pulled up. So y'all, I done did my videos. I had to record a clothing haul. I did that. It's currently 11 o'clock. I didn't even get to tell y'all what happened earlier. I'm sitting here taking pictures in the mirror, chilling, not thinking nothing of it. But when I go to hotels and stuff, I always be skeptical because y'all know the Kanika Jenkins thing. I'm sitting here taking pictures in the mirror. If y'all can see, it's a mirror right there and the door over there. I'm standing right there taking pictures in the mirror and the door open. Mind you, mind you, I always put that little lock thing on it. I don't know why, but I got a habit of doing that. And y'all, if it won't feel that, whoever it was is just going to walk right the fuck in. I'm standing there and somebody opened the door. Mind you, you gotta have a key to open up the hotel room door. It was one of the people that worked here and they came right in the room. Luckily, I had the metal thing, you know, over the door to where they couldn't get in. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I ran to the door, I'm like, what the fuck? They're like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. But y'all, that shit was the scariest thing, not only that. I originally wasn't even supposed to have been at this hotel. I was supposed to have been a different one, like a block or two away. So I'm really kind of like, uh. I'm debating if I even want to stay here tonight by myself i must actually have somebody come stay with me but yes i want to tell y'all that y'all be careful out here because people be crazy people be sick you never know what a person is on not only just y'all i'm being careful as well as myself i'm taking my own advice i got my pepper spray i got all that hey y'all with that being said i'm gonna go outside to my car and smoke i'll be taking y'all with me but i'm gonna facetime my mama or my cousin while i go out then i'm gonna come back to go once i'm in the car smoke when i come back in i'm gonna take a shower chill i didn't want to go to the gas station and get some snacks i didn't get no snacks we gonna see. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. <laughs> we got the shower, it's the next day, it's the next morning. I was tipsy as hell last night. I did record all my content that I need to record. I gotta do one more thing before I leave. I gotta take some pictures. I gotta take a picture in this dress with this hair. I wanted to recreate this look that Ari and Shirley did on Instagram with blonde hair and black lingerie. So I'm gonna try to recreate that real fast before I leave. My checkout time is at 11, it's currently 9.30. So I got some time. Yo, I done lost my train of thought. I forgot what I was even saying. But I'm finna go recreate this look. I'm gonna record my ready me process. I do my makeup and stuff. Got another routine. I was supposed to be getting a facial today. I didn't even book the appointment. I was supposed to take yesterday, but it slipped my mind because I was running around. I think I wanna go to the movies for sure today and go see Nope. I don't know y'all we will see today. It's Tuesday as well. Tuesday, August 30th. I was just thinking like I might not do a facial today because I'm doing my makeup. I don't wanna waste I'm doing my makeup and I don't want to waste my time. So I think I'm going to wear my makeup today and do the facial next week Tuesday. Because she only take clients on Tuesday due to her being um, in school. Not only that y'all, they got my room right by the weight room. So I'm literally here, everything and everybody. But somebody was telling me like you need to do um more sit down videos and i'm thinking about doing a mukbang today i just don't know what i'm gonna eat so yeah i don't know we're gonna see and yes y'all this concealer too light for me like that means you didn't know what the fuck she was doing or talking about that's what i need black girls to be working in alta as well i literally never seen a black girl working in alta every time i went it's a white girl and this is why they need black girls. Wasting my day of learning. No wonder I've been looking white as hell. I really look white. And like in my ring light, it'd be a whole different light than this light right now. Look like I'm supposed to be on white cheeks. 
Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to go and buy some more concealer because I really like this concealer. It's matte, it actually stays, it's just not my color. I think I'm gonna put some pasties in. I don't know, I really don't wanna waste my pasties because I'm not gonna wear this outfit all day, I'm just taking pictures. I don't know, but don't mind me, okay? Your girl got a lot going on over here. Okay, now I'm taking this powder that's like my skin color. And I'm just going over it everywhere I put um, concealer. Now I'm taking this Laura Mercier translucent powder and honey. And I'm going to set under my eyes with it. I feel like this gives your makeup a cleaner look. So now I'm going to let the powder sit while I put my blush on. I did go to also y'all and get this. It's a Juvia's palette. Um, it is volume two. I probably should have got one a little darker. But. It's going to work. Y'all, this is probably the fastest I ever did my makeup. If anybody got any highlighters out there that y'all want me to try, please consider it because I am so over these highlighters. They sell these highlighters at my local beauty supply store. And they cheap as hell, but they do get the job done. But I've been using it, using it for a while now. So it's really time for something different. Why he going through your phone when he's miserable? I can't believe that did you brought home. Beautiful. She said she wanted to drink my Ooh. I wanna fuck her when she blonde. Ooh. <laughs> Taking this. Highlighter once again, I'm gonna put some on my cheeks. Real cute, simple, simple cute. Okay, so now I am curling my hair. Well, I'm straightening it out first. And then I'm bumping the ends, put like a light curl at the ends. I left all my bio silk, I left my oil sheen, I left everything. I had to make it do what it do. It's this girl named Tati's birthday today, and she texted me and said, let's get drunk. So, you know what that meant. <laughs> but y'all know what that means. Most likely drink with her. We must have been kicked to show up, but I just be everywhere. Literally. I be all over the place. Um, it's a post on Facebook. It be like, when somebody tell me, never mind, you don't got to come, or never mind, something canceled. And I be like, oh, okay, because I won't go anyways. That's me as fuck. Okay. That's me as fuck. But I need to break out of that habit as well. I ready to take this hair out, y'all. I done fucked around and spray some, um, got to be, not got to be, some even spray in it so that I could, um, pin it up, you know. And it stayed, but I thought I was gonna wear that hairstyle for today as well. But I end up taking the ponytail out. And y'all think about dyeing this hair green. I really don't know. I kind of feel like I should do pink or something. clean up take these pictures and then leave out because it's currently like 10 probably got like probably 40 minutes 30 minutes i forgot to contour my forehead okay y'all so this is how my makeup turned out i did put on too much highlighter i did get this dress off sheen it was in a lingerie section he said, I just had a threesome with two thick bitches. He said, that just like his dick so I don't lick bitches. <laughs> you know, I fucked this BM now. He's sick with it. No, let me stop. 
But y'all, I'm finna go ahead and check out. It's 11 o'clock. I'm finna change and put on a shirt and some shorts because I'm not going out like this. But I want to show y'all how I'm looking. I don't know if it just be me or what. I forgot what I was gonna say. But y'all, I'm so ready to take my hair down. The blonde was cute. It was definitely cute, but it's about that time. It's me trying to drop the key off and nobody at the front desk. Nobody even really here, literally. I'm just... I'm just leave the keys on the table because I don't know what else to do, honestly, truthfully. And I got all my stuff in my hands. Everybody checked out quick. I came on here last night to smoke and it was plenty cars and it was plenty people. I got cousins. Um. So y'all, I did get my oil change. I don't even think y'all can see me because of this weak ass so. Not only that, y'all, I've been thinking about going back to work, you know, just to be doing something productive, at least a seven to three, or, you know, six to two. So that's a really big thing uh, when it comes to making your own money and then going back to work, y'all. It's totally different. I'm not saying don't go to work. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that I would never work again. But, y'all, it's totally different when you make your own money and you get fast money and you, you know, see your money in your hand and having to wait weeks or days for a work check. So, yeah, I've been thinking about that. Then it's like, why not do it? You know, I really don't have nothing else to do. Why not go make some extra money? That could be, you know, money for Sheen. Or that could be money for my apartment. That could just be extra money. So the job that I did work, I worked at a temp service. And they used to like me so much to where they used to have me trying to work every day. I'm always the youngest one. Literally, everybody else always older than me. Well, I was 18 at the time. I was the youngest one. The only reason why I didn't like going to work was because they had like a shuttle bus or like a transportation bus. Like everybody got to get in one car and then go there. Now that I got my own car, I can go on my own time. You know what I'm saying? I don't got to wake up two hours early to get there, then the leader to get to the job. I just get to leave here and go straight to the job. So yeah, y'all, that is better for me. I don't know. We're going to see. We're going to see. I just want to tell y'all that because this has been on my mind a lot. Okay, y'all, so I'm about to get ready and go out and have drinks. I did end up changing. Um, I got on this black hoodie with some black leggings with this pink purse and my pink Crocs. Um, I will record while I'm out. We're supposed to be going to this Mexican restaurant. I really don't even want Mexican food, but, you know, it's her birthday, so. Supposed to be going to the movies at 9. It's currently going on 7 o'clock, so I'm finna go ahead and head out. Because really, I'm really on a time limit. Okay, y'all, so I am in the car. I know I just had on makeup. I know I just had on eyelashes, but my allergies is kicking my ass, y'all. So I had to take all that shit off. Alright, I'm finna stop. Oh, fuck. Oh my god, it's not recording. You out of order. I'm gonna put you right to the crowd. It is. Sleep through the whole movie. I didn't watch nothing. Like, what was the point? Ew. Ready to go eat? Everything good. 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 Everything good.
first of all, we went to the movies. I did not even get to see the movies. I fell asleep, literally. I was tipsy as hell, I'm not gonna lie. I was drunk as hell and I did fall asleep. In the movie theater, I did not get to see Nope. I did all that trying to go see the movie and didn't even get to see it. Not only that, afterwards, I ended up going to get food and stuff, still fell asleep. Didn't even get to smoke, literally nothing on. And not only that, I'm sick. I don't know if it's my allergies, I don't know if it's the weather changing, but I feel congested. Like, when I breathe, I'm wheezing and shit. Like, this is so annoying. And that's another reason why I didn't go get me a facial yesterday. I ended up doing my makeup. And I'm like, okay, well, we make sure to get the facial because I did my makeup. But then I ended up taking the makeup off. So, like, I could have got the facial anyway. Then I started feeling sick. So, like, I didn't want to get her sick. So, yeah, I'm just, I'm, I don't know, y'all. I'm all over the place right now. Trying to get myself together. I'm currently hungry as hell. I haven't ate anything. I'm going to see y'all once I get to Chick-fil-A. Not only that, I'm supposed to take my hair down today. I'm supposed to wash some wigs and sell wigs tomorrow. I got a lot going on. I don't feel like doing anything. I just want to really lay down. So, yeah. I need to stop at Walgreens and give me some medicine, though. I ain't do that for sure. I'm gonna do that on my way coming back home. Because I ain't got time. Well, it won't make sense for me to get medicine because mama got day cool and night cool, so I'm just gonna take some more of that. But yeah, y'all. So, y'all, it is the day before Labor Day. It is currently Sunday. Y'all haven't seen me. The last time y'all did see me was a couple days ago. It literally was like three, four days ago, y'all. I had blonde hair and everything. It's a whole new day. Damn near a whole new week. Tomorrow is Labor Day. It is a whole new month as well. Y'all already know your girl finna start the night off right. But no, y'all, I'm just up chilling, thinking, you know, drinking a little bit. I would have had some wine, but the wine been having me fucked up lately. So I am drinking this. I'm gonna drink a little bit of this. Y'all literally just opened up this bottle. And then I am going to rub me up a blunt and smoke. Y'all, so I ended up finding me a nail tech because I've been telling myself, like, I wanna get a facial done. I wanna get a nail tech. A permanent nail tech instead of going to the nail salon give me a nail tech you know find me somebody that do facials and also find me somebody that do individuals so i can start you know doing appointment days you know come with some of my appointment days <clears throat> i am getting over a cold as i mentioned before y'all so i have not really been recording like that i really haven't been doing anything but y'all people be so unprofessional here i end up finding somebody to do my nails very talented young lady literally literally just talked to her like an hour or two ago and then I go to book my appointment and those starts up here for the time that we just said that we were going to do. So I just text her like, hey, I'm trying to do it now. But the timing doesn't say it's available for Tuesday. It says it's available for Thursday. She texts me and said, which day was you trying to do? Like, we didn't just get over this. Like, we didn't just have this conversation. Like, I know people be busy and yeah, stuff be going on. But, y'all, we literally just talk. Like, like uh, I don't know. So if it comes down to it, I will be at the new salon. Give me a French hit set. Monday, September 5th. I just got out the shower. I'm finna go wash my clothes. I just, ooh. Ah, y'all, I ended up burning myself with the iron. Like, the shit hurts so bad. But, I just got out the shower. I'm finna wash my makeup brushes. And then I'm gonna go to the laundry mat and wash my clothes. And then after that, I'm going to the nail salon, get my nails taken off, and get my feet done. <clears throat> I might end up this vlog today because tomorrow. I'm doing my hair, I'm getting my nails done, I'm getting a facial, you know, stuff like that. So it's going to be a whole new vlog. Y'all, I've been trying to give y'all different content and different stuff. You know, be more active with y'all, be more consistent with y'all. Today I'm wearing Marc Jacobs Perfect. If you ain't tried this smell, sis, go try it. I really don't even know why I just sprayed this because I'm looking crunchy as hell. But, oh, you feel good, you smell good, you look good. I'm trying to debate how i want to do my hair tomorrow i'm thinking to do like a different style that i don't usually do <coughs> bless me god bless me but y'all just got done washing my brushes i'm gonna let them air dry i look like i wrapped up in napkins if anybody got any makeup remover or makeup wash soap for brushes or anything that y'all recommend please comment below please comment below 
I'm gonna let this stuff air dry while I get my stuff together to go wash my clothes. I'm gonna roll up a blunt and smoke with y'all while I'm in the car. <laughs> black soap on my skin as well y'all I, I was using black soap and i ran out now i just think it's an alcohol and i've been seeing the difference like my face breaking out up in here and up in here and y'all i be letting my mama drive my car here and there and she's so small she changed the seat she changed the steering wheel she changed everything oh and i'm ashy i gotta put some lotion on before i go out Cause who, baby? Who, cause who? Nah, I. Right. Somebody probably watching me like, look at this girl putting on lotion. But I just got off the shower, y'all, and I'm so fucking ashy. Like, it's not even cute. I ain't never been this ashy. I can always get my feet done and shave my legs. Like, that's a must. And y'all, my whole fucking body is just. My oh, whole body dimmer ash. Also, happy Labor Day to everybody out there. I don't know when y'all gonna see this video. I'll probably see this video Thursday. But happy Labor Day to everybody. <laughs> y'all, when the fuck did they get security for the laundry room? They got a security guard at the laundromat and he cute. <laughs> he cute. He kinda cute. I'm glad I am putting lotion on. Everybody keep looking at me. Do I got some on my face? Or do I got some on my car? Let me shut up. I have to clean up my car. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna damn near get my car detailed out Friday, or you know, detailed out myself Friday. It's the skin for me. Y'all only got one cigar, so I'm gonna have to make a deal with a new baby. I hope y'all can't hear me. I am near a busy street, and my windows is down. Not only that, y'all, if y'all watch my videos, so y'all keep up. Y'all remember that I had got a tattoo right here. These red zeros. And it ain't it ain't perfect. It's probably my worst tattoo out of all my tattoos. And the dude that did it, he keep texting me, keep hounding me to do another tattoo. And it's like, bro, I'm not letting you on me. That shit dead. That shit done. I don't even care about the price. And I don't even care if I got to pay an arm and a leg. I'm not letting you back on me. I'm not finna fuck up my tattoos. That shit dead. That shit done. Not only that, a sleeve. A sleeve. Miss me with the bullshit. For real. And not only that, y'all, here in Milwaukee, if you stay here, you already know, a lot of people mix business with pleasure, and I hate that. For a simple fact, niggas think that that's going to work with the next female, or they think they could do this, or, you know, like, no, bro. When it comes to weed and it comes to tattoos, y'all, these bitches will fuck niggas for it, literally, and not care about it. Like, like bro, you got to have some type of standards or morals, some type of respect, like, I don't know. I'm so ready to go on a trip. Like, I'm just ready for a breath of fresh air. I'm ready for a new scenery. I'm gonna say that. Like, I'm just ready for something new. A weekend getaway, a week getaway, something. And it's like, I really wanna take a weekend and go to Chicago or Minnesota, you know, like three day weekend. But nobody be down for that. Like, we could do a road trip and vlog and record through the road trip. Like, y'all, it's so much shit to do in Chicago. Then it is in Milwaukee in Chicago, literally only an hour and a half away. I'm gonna 
gonna fuck around and take a trip by myself, literally. And I don't wanna do that because I be feeling like shit gonna happen. But mama always tell me, don't think of nothing bad. Don't think of nothing bad gonna happen, go and do it. And y'all, she is one of the reasons why I go and get hotels or Airbnb and do content. Like she be pushing me to go do different stuff, you know, just do different shit. I wrote a couple topics down in my phone, y'all, so I will be, you know. Okay, y'all, so the first thing I wanted to talk about was praying and getting more connected with God. I feel like you don't gotta go to church every day to get a relationship with God. You can do, you know, build that on your own at home. But me, myself, I wanna get more into it. I wanna get more into praying. I wanna get more into waking up praying, going to sleep praying. Like, just thanking God throughout the day. Just thanking God for everything that I got. And I do do that, but I feel like I don't do it as much as I should. But I be feeling like I'm not connected with God as much as I should be. Because it's right now. Having faith and believing. You know what I mean? Manifesting. For the month of September, that is one of my goals to accomplish. Getting a closer relationship with God. And I feel like everybody should, okay? Everybody should. Also, y'all, I've been wanting to plan a self-picnic day. Like, take myself out and vlog, meet at a picnic, you know, somewhere. I'm probably at, like, a park that's low, chill. Just me vlog. Probably at the beach because I want to wear my swimsuit. But vlog, listen to music, write in a journal, smoke, talk to y'all. Y'all know, just vibe out by myself. I definitely will be doing that one day this week, for sure, because I'm tired of asking people to come with me. Like, at this point, I got to do everything by myself. And I swear, I don't have no problem doing shit by myself. I don't have no problem doing shit alone. But that shit get boring. Maybe it's just me. Like, I'm a Gemini. I get bored easily. I get bored with shit easily. Like, I'll be ready for the next excitement or the next thing. I also want to talk about celibacy. I'm thinking about going back celibate because I feel like... I feel like when you celibate, you look at a lot of shit way more differently. You know what I'm saying? And not only celibate, like, just more focus on me and my self-growth. You know what I'm saying? I really don't want no distractions. That's why I'm saying celibate. I don't want to be worried about the next motherfucker, what they doing, who they doing it with. Example, um, before I met the dude that I was talking to, I was five, six months strong celibate. And I was getting shit done. I was accomplishing shit. I was saving, saving, saving. I was focused on me. I was doing what's making me happy. Like, I wasn't worried about nothing. You know what I'm saying? And I miss that Tahana. I love the woman that I'm growing into now, but I miss, you know, that part of my life, that level of my life. Like, I miss that point of my life. I'm going to say that. And at the end of the day, none of these niggas really deserve your body. Literally. None of them. Like, yes, sex cool. Yes, it's fun here and there. But when it come down to it, afterwards, once you're done, you done got your nut off. Like, it's just like, get the fuck out my face. <laughs> Not get the fuck out my face, but it's just like, you know, like, yo, I don't know. And I feel like that's where toxic mix comes in as well. Sex plays a big part in toxicness. And the last little topic I want to talk about was friends. Y'all, you cannot mix your friends with your old friends. Like your new friends with your old friends. You cannot mix your family with your friends. You got to kick it with everybody how you kick it with. I literally learned this. And as you can see, I be by myself a lot. Yeah, I keep it cordial. I associate. But literally, if you watch my past few vlogs, I either been by myself or I've been with him. You get what I'm saying? And that's it. Like, I don't even really associate myself with females like that no more. It just be too much messy shit, too much drama. I don't know. I'm really cool on the friends. I really don't even want no friends. Like, I don't know. I came to a point in my life where it's like, I'm going to let a motherfucker come be my friend. You know what I'm saying? I'm cool on trying to be a motherfucker friend. And I ended up having a run-in with this girl. Um she's a friend of a friend like our mama is, is friends she be wanting to kick it and shit but she not 21 so she don't go do the stuff that i do she have a kid i don't so it's like we don't mix and she was telling me that so when i want to go kick it and do stuff she'd be like you know i'm busy or i'm doing this or she wanted to go kick it i'm busy i'm doing this so when it came down to it she like we just not the same so i'm like okay i'm gonna fall back then y'all the girl takes me a whole paragraph 
you text me a whole paragraph expressing her feelings and how she felt as if i was being fake i wasn't being a friend but you just told me we didn't have anything in common you know what i'm saying so why would i keep trying to force a friendship like that's why i be saying i be on friends that be on what i be on that want to do the stuff i want to do you know and not even do the stuff that I want to do. Got the same interest to where we put out ideas. Yes, let's go do that. Yes, let's go here. But y'all, this is the end of my vlog. I hope y'all enjoyed as much as I enjoyed putting this vlog together. It kind of was everywhere. I dropped through like a two, three day vlog, but I ended up getting sick. So it was a big gap in this vlog. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to go follow me on Instagram and on TikTok if you already have it. It will be in the description box. Don't forget to hit that bell so that you get notification every time I post a new video. I'm gonna run to 100K, 50K on the way. Period, y'all know the vibes. And until next time, I will see y'all in my next video. Oh, oh, oh.